Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This guy wanted to show how windy it was in New Zealand. Do you know about a drunk goat? What goat? A drunk goat. A drunk goat. Yeah? No. <laughs> this bear thought it would be a good idea to turn around and leave after finding out that bear. This guy was tired of always forgetting his wallet, so he got a microchip planted in his hand that allows him to pay for everything. This cow had to visit the vet to get some work done on her foot, and she was so scared that she started to whimper. Well, we're gonna fix your, get your foot fixed, I know. You hurt your foot, we're gonna get it fixed. You're just scared. I know, babe. Daddy's right here with you, okay? A few years ago, there was an earthquake in Mexico that shook the boats on this river. There's a law in Ontario, Canada that makes it illegal to remove or destroy trillion flowers and you will be fined $500 if you do so. However, there is no law stating that you can't plant these flowers in public spaces. So this guy started planting these flowers in the most random and annoying- <laughs> This guy made the slowest moving set of gears ever. In order to get the last gear to make one full rotation, uh, you need to turn the first gear a Google amount of times around. That number is bigger than the amount of atoms in the known universe. Hey, wait! I have a piece of honey bun for you! Will you take wait, wait. it? Let, let me grab it, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Why did nobody tell me that geckos can make noises? Oh. Today is my last day in Norway, so I wanted to show you two really cool things I saw. Norwegian supermarkets have a machine where you can place your plastic bottles to be recycled. When you recycle it, you have the option to either receive money or play the lottery. Every bottle you place in there is like buying a lottery ticket. The other cool thing is that they are so good at building tunnels that they can build massive roundabouts underneath their mountains. That is the end of this video. We hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very